everybody. Today we're going to talk about the liver and specifically about the sinusoid lining cells of the liver. So the first type of cells we have the endothelial cells. These cells, uh, the endothelial cells of the wall of the sinusoids are separated from the underlying hepatocytes by narrow subendothelial space known as the presinusoidal space or the space of DC. This space contains the blood plasma. Microvilli of hepatocytes extends this to this space as well allowing proteins and other plasma components from the sinusoids to be taken up by the hepatocytes. Blood fluids percolate through the endothelial wall and make intimate contact with the hepatocytes with the hepa or, or, hepa or hepatocyte surface, permitting an exchange of macromolecules from the synodial lumen to the liver cell and vice versa. The sinusoid and lining cells, uh, as I've just mentioned that, um, endothelial cells, cover cells, hepatic stellate cells, or ETO cells, as you can see here in this slide, the, the pit cells, and um, yeah, also the hepatocytes. Cooper cells, also, also called as macrophages or um, hepatic, hepatic macrophages, or liver macrophages, they are found on the uh, luminous surface of the endothelial cells. These copper cells are typical macrophages, as I've just mentioned, that um, they help in the elimination of microorganisms when they reach the liver. Uh, copper cells are all these black dots, you know, they're uh, just surrounded everywhere over here. Um, this, the third type of cells are the hepatic stellate cells or ETO cells. They are located in the space of DC. They have the capacity to accumulate exogenously administered vitamin A. The stellate cells is the major uh, cell type involved in, in liver fibrosis, uh, which is the formation of scar tissue in response to liver damage. Uh, the fourth type is the pit cells. They are hepatic mushroom killer cells that are located in the liver sinusoids where they adhere to endothelial cells. Pit cells are involved in, in killing um, metastasized tumor cells. Yeah, uh, and they help in the elimination as well. So uh, let's let's just have, have a, um, a brief you know explanation on hepatocytes. Hepatocytes are large um, uh, polygonal cells. The liver cell has one to two round nuclei with dispersed chromatin and prominent nuclei of uh, the nuclei are polypeptide, are poly, uh, sorry, are polyploid. Most cells in the adult are tetraploid or four um, amount of DNA. The hepatocytes have abundant endoplasmic reticulum, both smooth and rough. The rough endoplasmic reticulum forms aggregates, uh, aggregate or uh, it aggregates in the cytoplasm. Uh, several proteins are synthesized on a polar liposomes in these structures. And the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the process of oxidation, methylation, and conjugation required for inactivation or detoxification of various substances. Each liver cell has approximately 2,000 mitochondria. Hepatocyte lysosomes are responsible for degradation of intracellular organelles and endocytosis of many macromolecules. There is also the paroxysomes as well. They're, they're abundant in the hepatocytes because, you know, uh, we need the, because we know that the peroxisomes, it helps in the, uh, you know, uh, fat metabolism. And the functions of Golgi complex includes the formation of lysosomes and secretion of plasma proteins. There are uh, some kind of concepts about the zonal features of the hepatocytes, the surface of each liver, of each liver cell. Uh, is in contact with the wall of the sinusoids through the space of DC. And with the surface of, of, of other hepatocytes, this space of DC has a lot of cells that can protect, such as um, uh, ETO cells that help in the uh, detoxification and some others. So the zonal, um, you know, the zonal uh, part of the hepatocytes, such as the surface of the hepatocytes that face the space of DC has many microfilm, uh, uh, many microvilli protruding in that space, as you can see here. Also, uh, um, wherever two hepatocytes abut, they delimit a tubular space between, uh, the, between the bile canalicles. 
The canaliculus are limited only by the plasma membranes of two hepatocytes. The cell membranes near this uh, canaliculi are firmly joined by tight junctions. So this is where uh, the biocanaliculi is being formed between two hepatocytes that form the um, through the uh, membrane of two plasma membrane of two hepatocytes that forming uh, they merge together and form the canaliculus or the biocanaliculus. Ah uh, yeah, that's all for today and I hope to see you guys very soon in the next video and yes, don't forget to like, subscribe and share all the videos and see you in the next video.